this is the monthly horoscope for Pisces for the month of August 2023. Hello, my fishies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And this weekend, I will have the weekly horoscopes up as well, and then we'll resume our normal um, stuff. So on the 1st at 2.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the full moon in Aquarius, you can be relying more on your intuition. This can be a beautiful time for thoughts to become things with this energy. You also have Zeus in your eighth house um, as well transiting and planets in Libra. You need to be careful how much you do for other people at this time. You can be overly sensitive when it comes to other people because you feel things very intensely and very deeply with this energy. So you tend to attract users. Um, you may have lessons with your giving energy. So all is not what it seems. You can be very gullible. Okay. And then by the time your intuition kicks in, you may realize that you've been duped. Okay. So be careful with this. So you tend to attract a lot of users. You may have lessons with your giving energy. Not all of you do, but some of you. You may notice very you're very noise sensitive at this time. So you may find yourself wanting to... Um, like have the TV off or just wanting to sit in silence. You can become more sentimental about the past and there could be more of the focus on your personal life at this time as well with this energy. You're a bit more of a pessimist during this time period. Um, I hate my mouse. I swear I'm getting a new one this week. You can be more of a pessimist with this energy. I feel also that you don't like people who bitch and complain at this time. Or you could realize certain people in your life are trying to take advantage of you, but in a subtle way, you know, and try to make you feel sorry for you and kind of try to make you feel sorry for them and pull on your heartstrings and you're not having it. You're very sensitive at this time anyways, but you're also very analytical with this energy. So it may not be easy for some of you to get money out of you. On the 16th at 5.38 a.m., the new moon in Leo in your sixth house of daily routine and pets. Um, this can be your Uranus squaring your Lilith moon at this time. So expect the unexpected. Um, there could be some drama going on in family matters at this time. May have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you, but the tea is delicious, okay? Um, so this could be controversy brewing around family at this time and people dipping and doing certain things that they shouldn't be doing, but it's kind of like, oh my God, like hillbilly tele nueve, okay? But live, so get out the popcorn and the cheap wine yay so this could be emotional validation this could be truth being revealed if you think if you think that you know something's up it probably is a bitch okay <laughs> changes in the office routine can bring chaos or unexpected layoffs you may have um, somebody here that is a little bit on top of you you could be dealing with a Taurus who wants to put you in a box or who wants to run the office in a particular way at this time and you two could be butting heads and not getting along you probably want to express yourself more at this time with this energy here you're more about your freedom and your independence your health may suffer so um, you need to be cautious with that with this energy you may have to give yourself a break from certain situations at this time because they could be emotionally too much for you and it can be causing you health issues you're relying more on your intuition with the north node here um, in your second house quintiling um, at this time, Mercury and Neptune. So this could be a lot of self-realizations, epiphanies happening. You may have words, words of wisdom to share to others. You could have your come to Jesus moment at this time with this energy. You can be showing off your expertise advice at this time with this energy. You are standing out more. You are being seen at this time. So this can be a popular energy time. People are taking notice of your unique talents now and what you bring to the table with this energy. This is a beautiful time for growth with career and business with this energy all eyes are you subscribe bitches okay then on the 23rd at 501 a.m eastern standard time the sun enters your seventh house of relationships so it's opposing your first house of course you could be super critical of people that you live with at this time. You could find yourself um, this month complaining about everybody and everyone. You can feel restless with this energy. Um, this can be the start of the blues here, the fall blues. So you could be suffering to it all the way up to September 15th when Mercury goes direct and Rosh Hashanah starts. So you may feel better by then. So you're really going through your emotional tar at this time. This is... Um, 
it's best to put yourself in a routine and focus on things you can control. Maybe you're too much invested in your routine or you're too much about your reality at this time because we have like an earth, we have like a lot of earth trining going on at this time with this energy here. So you could be too much invested in your reality and it's going to cause you a depression, okay? So until Rosh Hashanah comes along and the new moon in Libra starts, then you'll feel better with this energy and you'll come out of this um, depression. You could also be feeling burnt out at this time. This would be a great time to change your routine around, maybe start doing more things that you like to do during this time period as well, spending more time with friends and um, family, having adventures with them, like going to places that you've never been to, traveling a little bit more. You could travel a little hour away from where you live, go to a hotel or something like that, do something different, do something to break up the monotony of your routine because it may be causing you a little bit of a depression. You're very analytical in your way of thinking at this time, even a bit too critical of others. Um, you're very like, you know, Chiron's in retrograde at this time. So this is strap your bootstraps up and get the hell over it and move the hell on. So, and you know, and a lot of people are not going to like that coming from you, but you know, that's the way you're feeling. You're a little bit Pisces spicy right now, you know, so it could be a little bit too much for people you're straightforward and you're honest and you tell it like it is and you know regardless you know people are like oh my god you are so attacking because you're very honest at this time and you're not putting up with other people's shit and you can't and you're super critical on top of that so it's like and you're a super observer so it's kind of like you know you take people's like crap and they're putting it in your face and you're like you need to clean your shit up this doesn't make no sense. Like, clean it up. Like, why aren't you cleaning it up, you know? And it's like, you too busy working on yourself during this time period, and you're like, I'm not dealing with you, you know? So it's kind of like that kind of situation is going on. Then on the 23rd at 3.59 p.m., Mercury goes retrograde in your seventh house. You could be reconnecting with people from your past at this time um, with this energy. You still have that Earth trine happening all this month. So it could be a very productive time for you. You could be very organized on top of things. Great time for quitting bad habits, working on yourself. Neptune is in retrograde. I love it when Neptune's in retrograde. For me personally, I love this time of year, but also during this time of year, uh, this time of year as well, with the stellum in the seventh house i do go through a little bit of a depression um because i am too much about my reality but i get a lot of stuff done like i'm super pro productive like oh my gosh like it's like spring cleaning in my house like every day <laughs> i mean it's such a heavy energy but it's a lot of clarity and then i become like Teresa caputo during this time period as well it's super intuitive because i have like no thoughts going in my head whatsoever so it's really easy for me to meditate and stuff like that and to prayer i don't know but some pisces don't like this energy and it's so super heavy for them and they go through a, de a depression they're ultra sensitive at this time so it just depends there's two types of pisces there's the analytical you know my male pisces I got to read Nietzsche. I know Marxism and I know all this philosophy and it's like, well, good for you. But do you know how to socialize? No, no, you don't. Do you? No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Have a level. All righty. So, <laughs> and you may be too much invested in your reality. So whatever you're worrying about at this time, you tend to feel things a bit strongly with this energy. So like I said, you could be going through the August blues until September and you know after new moon in Libra you'll get out of your funk here but it is gonna be a funk for some of you like I said I like this energy because I get a lot done like I'm super on top of things like you'll you'll see I'll have like everything done by Monday I mean it's like super productive I love this energy I don't know why the rest of the year I can't be like this but <laughs> it's like during this little box of moment it's like you can get like a lot of stuff done with this energy okay um some of you not all of you okay this is a time of new thoughts and sudden insights and get to unexpected boost in your way of thinking speaking or writing communications are facilitated connections all kinds news and so on um can be happening as well with this energy so and again reconnecting with people from your past then on the 27th beautiful beautiful energy mars and libra this is in your eighth house now you're super analytical now it's like Ugh! and you're ferocious okay you are taking names and this is a really powerful energy because this is in your eighth house and mars is in this natural house so you are like super psychic 
okay and you're delving into certainty you're super analytical at this time you're tenacious you make things happen you're very masculine energy so you like me you will have no thoughts in your head some of you can't handle this energy here and you could like you know it could really affect you but this will help you get over certain fears or emotional hang-ups this will help bring healing energy to you so you can move on past certain things during this time period and then on top of that it's not it's, it's well aspected no it's not well aspected at this time so you can be accident prone at this time so I would be careful when driving the car or you may have some unexpected expenses coming up with this energy if your children are driving I would make sure to double check that they're careful at this time when driving because you may have to pay for their expensive and your car insurance may may pop up and get more um, there's a lot of clarity insight onto certain in in certain situations you call it as you see it it's like damn you could be getting yourself out of debt handling your responsibilities especially those responsibilities the, those responsibilities that you have been avoiding like the plague now you can decide F it, I'm just gonna take care of it you know and release myself from debt get all your ducks in a row at this time confronting those type of issues at this time that you've been avoiding you could be handling your business and facing those issues you could also be in general a bit more confrontational you're not taking nobody's shit because now you got to sell them in your seventh house you know in Virgo out of all people and is opposing your planets and Saturn in retrograde so you just don't take nobody's shit at this time and then they got north node in your second house that's not helping you and if you got Venus in your second house in the side of Aries that really not helping you because you got you like me you got you're sassy but you're assy too so you just like mm -mm, you mean all right so you are super fearless with this energy this is a beautiful time to delve into certainty so manifest 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 you're very aggressive you're very assertive at this time this is not the best time to mingle if, if you're single but it can happen okay it can happen. Male Pisces, um, those of you in the LGBTQT community, great time for hookups, you know, so it's up to you because we are coming into our Saturn Dasha of Leo, so we're ending our Saturn Dasha of Pisces at this time. So right now what's going to go on here is that we are going to be, you know, going into serious committed relationships. So these new relationships that are coming into our life, they're going to be long term, so they can last for 20 years, okay, or longer, alrighty. Um, you could be fighting with other people in your life over money at this time because either you're spending a lot of money, you're tired of them spending your money at this time with this energy. You could be feeling used by certain people in your life, especially love relationships. You could feel financially used, sexually used. You could just feel like this person's just using you and doesn't really want a relationship with you, you know? And you could be feeling some kind of way about it. Your spouse or business partnerships that you're doing um, at this time, you could feel some kind of way at this time about them as well. You're a bit more cautious when it comes to new people entering your life. Be careful with dealing with identity thefts, chargebacks, misuse of information, getting hacked at this time with this energy. Then Uranus goes retrograde in your third house. Um, so for some of you here, this is a heavy, heavy energy time for you. Your brain may not have any thoughts at all because you're super grounded at this time. Time, very analytical in your way of thinking and this can cause depression for some of you here as well but as soon as that stellum leaves Virgo it will kind of once that stellum leaves Virgo and all the planets start going into Libra then it will kind of like it will subside okay but for right now it's not gonna subside it's gonna be like really heavy energy but you're gonna have like a lot of clarity at this time you could be very efficient some a lot of you may really love this energy some of you won't I noticed that a lot of people who are like Pisces rising with Aries interception don't like this energy at all they absolutely it causes them depression so if you're a Pisces rising with Aries in your your first house then you're not gonna like this energy you may love these energies that are coming in now because it is a very 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 productive time you're more organized with this energy getting a lot of things done and really a go-getter at this time but at the same time you're sitting on your hands about a lot of things you're not so impulsive you're not so quick to make decisions um, during this time period Uranus in the third house also deals with children and this could be like your children who are Sun and Taurus can have learning disabilities or Taurus rising they can have learning disabilities at this time with this energy okay so you may have to be the focus can be more on them and dealing with their disabilities at this time 
or like having to school them during this time period alrighty um, so you can find or this could be dealing with their own little mental issues like ADHD and things like that and you know having to fix their medication for them and stuff like that during this time period um, people could be trying to obligate you to do things that you don't want to do at this time and I feel like for some of you you could be ghosting other people or other people could be ghosting you during this time period as well okay then we have Oh, where am I going? The full moon in Pisces at 9.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 30th, conjunct with Saturn in retrograde, conjunct with whatever planets you have. So you're definitely going to be a little bit moody. You're going through it emotionally. You're very restless at this time. And it's not well aspected. So you can be making impulsive decisions. But then you have like a lot of training going on with the earth. So maybe they're not so impulsive, but this is probably something that you've been thinking about for a while. And I feel like you could surprise or shock other people with the decisions and choices that you're making. This could be like all of a sudden, you know, your part your your ex shows up with like, you know, you show up with divorce papers for your ex or something like that. You know, like you're very, you know, or maybe you move out of the house and not tell nobody you know like you're gonna do something that nobody expected you to do you could be really stepping out of your comfort zone and being more open to trying new things like dating you know is mercury in retrograde so like literally date talk to this person with this energy okay um or because you have been sitting on your hands for so long um about certain things maybe somebody that you've been crushing on for like years you know you may decide that you want to do something about it at this time um you may decide to talk to this person and kind of break out of your comfort zone okay because you're tired of the monotony of your routine at this time and you're tired you're bored so you want to now go and do something different with this energy you're changing the energy around the full moon here be careful with your giving energy because you may not see your money back with certain things don't give out your money there could be unexpected expenditures going on at this time be careful with your giving energy because you have lessons with your giving energy and like I said, you're not going to see that money back. Plus, you're changing your karma because now you're giving somebody, you're going to take somebody else's karma, and then you're going to have real unexpected expenditures that make you broke. So you have lessons with money coming up regards to your giving energy at this time. All right, let's see what the planets have. Let's see what the cards have to say. So the Page of Wands, new beginnings. The focus could be on your children, like I said, and going back to school and all that jazz. Um, the Justice card, major decisions are coming up. This could be good news in regards to court for some of you with this energy. For some of you, I feel like certain obstacles in your life may no longer apply during this time period. So this could be a positive energy time for you. The focus could be more on your social life. Six house energy on family, Leo energy. So the focus could be on family. At this time, for some of you, this could be something heavy on your mind. This could be thoughts of getting a divorce at this time for some of you here. The page of coins, I feel that other people can find you very reliable at this time. You could be super creative and coming up with money-making ideas during this time period. doesn't mean that you'll use them, but you could be having a lot of creative ideas and epiphanies during this time period and things that you want to play and experiment with. The hangman card, yeah. So you may not do nothing with this energy here. So this could be more of a thought than an action okay but it's more of a thought than an action meaning that you will really not do anything with this energy the um seven of cups yeah you're being very wishy-washy you're really i don't know for some of you here you could be feeling restless at this time you know and bored and not doing anything and all you have is to be in your head at this time so try to be in a routine get the hell out of your damn head this month because you really like like having like a bunch of weird thoughts in your head or you're intriguing like like this weird thought in your head and it's very wishy-washy with this energy okay so it's not going to happen and the only reason why it's not going to happen because you're kind of sitting on your hands about things the queen of coins i feel with this energy here there could be more money coming in for you this could be getting a raise or a promotion this could be business picking up at this time the five of swords not everybody's going to be happy for your good energy so keep it to yourself during this time period i feel like those of you in college College or in high school this could be a really difficult energy time for you emotionally because south node is in the eighth house in the sign of libra so you may have like a lot of lessons with the friendships or love relationships at this time with this energy this could be betrayal happening here with this energy as well with a earth sign or a dominating woman in your life here and she could be betray you with this energy i feel for some of you here stay on the right side of the law 
okay? Um, you may be accused of things that you're not doing at this time. For some of you, this could be a crime, assault, okay? So keep your hands to yourself because a lot of things are not worth it. Trust and believe. But I do see an affair. I do see a breakup happening here with this energy. I do see, you know what? That's probably that new moon energy coming up and a lot of truth is going to be revealed at this time with this energy. Just walk away from it because whatever karma or lessons that you had to learn with that person, it was karmic. And just like heal, mourn the relationship really quick and then just walk away and release it. Don't hold on to that crap. Okay, because it's not worth it and it's not going to do anybody good and it's not going to change anything. The Ace of Coins creating the reality. Um, there could be inheritance coming in for some of you. For some of you, this could be like dealing with court and winning money at this time. Divorce happening for you. So divorce could be in your favor. You could be getting ch child custody money or alimony at this time with this energy here as well. For some of you, I feel like certain people in your life could see you as a threat. Be careful with people in your life that abuse drugs and use drugs because their drama is so confusing you don't know what's what and they could be lying to you just to get money out of you at this time so you know just be careful how much you do for other people because i feel like other people in your life could be working on your purse strings as well as your heart strings and kind of pulling on them to make you give some money to them at this time with this energy i also see at this time a new job offer coming in for you with this energy i see on the job training coming up for you as well the moon card i see manipulative people in your life okay so just be aware of that be careful with dealing how you deal with other people at this time again somebody's using you and pulling you on on your heartstrings at this time and you know you got the south node conjunct with zeus here and some of you have zeus in your natal chart check out astro theme love them check out astro theme and find out where where you're where um, libra is in your in your natal chart because if it's in your eighth house you more than likely have zeus there and Zeus is like the higher form of Neptune. And what's happening here is that, you know, you have lessons with being sensitive, too sensitive to other people. Like you feel things very intensely, okay? And you feel you can put yourself in other people's shoes. And that's what's going to screw you, all right? And then other people are going to use you at this time. I do see for some of you here that this is a great time for truth being revealed. But I also feel like you could be talked out of your money or duped or cheated or somebody going to lie to you, okay? So be careful. The strength card, this is overcoming obstacles with this energy. This could be winning in court with this energy because the truth will be revealed and some Somebody has been lying to you and I feel like a lot of truth is going to come out during this time period okay so it, and you know again it has nothing to do with you but you may benefit through the situation somehow or you may get your own closure and you're able to move on from certain situations I feel like you see things but you're not saying anything you know you just watching you just watching and playing dumb because somebody thinks that you're dumb and stupid and you're not dumb and stupid and you see you just keep your mouth shut you know it's like you see it but you don't say nothing you know that's what i do if i don't say nothing i can play stupid all damn day you know because stupid gets you a lot of information all right you're stupid the more quiet you are the more you hear, the more information you get. And it's like you create your own little picture. And it's like, mm-hmm. All right. I do see you receiving legal advice at this time. I do see business plans. For some of you, this is a great time for writers with this energy as well. All righty. Um, let me see. I feel like for some of you, you could be making friends with other people who are like-minded. So if you're like on the social media, you know, like like I'm on like I'm on the YouTube and stuff like that. I make friends with like the other psychics that are on here too. With this energy, we talk and stuff like that. You know, we do. We talk. I talk to Maria, Cognitive Universe. I talk to Empath Lady. You know, I talk to um, Star Lourdes. You know, love her. You know, so I talk to all these ladies on here. You know, so it's kind of like that. Um, you know, you could be making friends with people who do the same business as you. Okay. The Eight of Swords, you can be going through it emotionally at this time with this energy. All righty. And, you know, and that's okay. Go through it, but quickly, quickly, quickly leave it alone because it's going to cause you a lot of blockages. And all this is the south node in your eighth house showing you what you need to work on and release, okay? You need to release it because everything that we go through has to deal with clearing our chakras or our past life. 
and some things we shouldn't even be holding on to because it's not necessary okay it really is not necessary a lot of the stuff that we go through is karma and stuff like that you know and i know that some of us have been to extreme karmas trust and believe i have okay and you know but a lot of things is karmic and you walking away from karmic situations so be happy that it's over okay be happy that you no longer have to sit there and experience it um i feel like for some of you i feel like this is a time of self-isolation for some of you so some of you you may not be on speaking terms terms with certain people you could be in hermit mode for real for others of you you need to be careful and keep you know jail popped up twice now in these cards south nodes in your eighth house you could be receiving jail time i would just stay on the right side of the law a lot a lot of things i promise you i promise you i promise you is not worth it so anything that you're getting angry about at this time is because you still have karma with it from past life because you still have lessons to learn with that person so you have to like let it go do you want lessons do you want to have that emotional tar stuck in you for a long time let it go Okay, because the only person that's really hurting is you because it's not helping you meditate. It's not helping you get anything you want. The more you release your emotional tar, the more good things will come to you. You know, that's why I say the lobster goes back into its cave because it's supposed to feel these feelings. You're supposed to be mad, angry, sad, grieving, whatever, but you're supposed to let go of them too because you're not supposed to hold on to these. You know, it's kind of like, you know, like in Kabbalah, they say that, you know, there's this veil. And there's this lamp. You put a bunch of veils on top of the lamp. You the lamp. You can't. You hide the light. You know. So you have to release all these, these things: anger, jealousy, possessive, um, abandonment issues, whatever you're dealing with. You have to release them at this time so you can bring out your light. So your vessel can get bigger. Okay. So this is you needing to release these feelings. Don't act upon these feelings. Don't go to jail over something that you'll regret later on down the road because it was stupid. Because there was no point. There is no point in hurting other people. Because you know what? You know what the best part is? When you just walk away, the other person is dealing with mental anguish. The other person is dealing with their own stuff. And that is a lot worse than what you could do to them. Okay? than what you could do to them. So just walk away because everybody is going through their own shit and their own emotional stuff and feeling some kind of way, okay? And it's best to release it as quickly as possible so that they can experience more of this for themselves, by themselves, okay? So learn to walk away. I feel like you can be, um, somebody could be grooming you online. Ooh, be careful of that. I feel like you could be led astray into other people's agendas at this time. So I would be really careful at this time. This could be revelations, insight onto situations. This could be your own epiphany, and this could lead to healing energy. This is revelations card and this is healing energy that's coming to you so i feel like eventually you'll be able to process this when mars goes into your eighth house and you'll be able to let go of this okay and then you'll probably understand what i'm talking about all righty because there is no point in doing this there is no point if you're doing this then you like drama there is no point in this Okay, so be about bigger picture and release. The Tower card does bring about changes, Pluto energy. Certain things may no longer apply in your life during the Mercury retrograde, which is fine. That means that certain things will no longer apply in your life again. The Emperor card, for some of you, this could be dealing with Father with this energy here. This could be dealing with a dominating person in your life. That's a male energy here, and there could be some changes in that. I feel like there could be some unfinished business between you and father's side of the family, okay? Or between you and another man in your life. There's unpredictability with this person here, okay? So for some of you, this could be going back to court. For others of you, this could be karma, okay? If this person did you dirty, and especially those of you in the West Indies, because you know they got, you know, people down there do dirty, dirty, this could be you getting your karma. So there could be a lot of jail time coming up for certain people around you and receiving karma. If they don't go to jail or anything like that, know that they're in this type of hell, okay? And they don't know how to get out. Unless they're watching me, then they know how to get out. But if they don't know how to get out, they don't know how to get out, okay? The chariot card at this time, I feel like you could be receiving some much needed good news at this time with this energy here. So this could be like you getting your redemption, Okay, you watching other people get their karma 
at this time alrighty and it doesn't have to be a male in your life take it as it resonates to you because I talked to a bunch of people but you are getting your justice justice is being served okay for others of you you know be on the right side of law but justice is being served at this time for some of you here alrighty the ten of swords starting over in your life expect the unexpected with this energy here the three of swords talks of traveling and changes coming up with this energy here i feel like this could be a divorce or you could be walking away emotionally from a situation and just healed for others of you this could be you getting a divorce or ending a relationship or ending a group or organization and walking away from it and it's not going to just affect you and this other person but it's going to impact you and other people because other people are going to miss you at this time okay so know that the king of Cups. I feel like for some of you here that this could be stability in relationships coming up for you. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that's a stickler for the rules or you could be dealing with a water sign here with this energy and the water sign could be getting justice being served onto them and karma at this time. So you could be watching that. The Ace of Swords, your perspective and outlook on life is going to be changing as well. There's a lot of clarity here coming up for you. There's a lot of recognition and success coming into your life. The Page of Cups, for some of you, you could be dating. This could be a raise or a promotion happening. This could could also be getting that love interest that you've been wanting you could be getting that person but just date and get to know this person first um with this energy as well all right you may have advice that people are willing to pay for during this time period the two of coins i feel for some of you here you're delving into certainty so you're feeling that mars energy at this time with this energy so you're receiving a lot of clarity and insight at this time you're also burning the candles at both ends of the stick the five of cups let it go elsa let it go it's not worth holding on to with this energy and you will find out later on maybe a few years from now when you're able to let go it's not worth it okay this is should have what a could have energy here as well so you may reach out to this person that you have a crush on the wheel of fortune card yeah the person that you have a crush on expect the unexpected fate is going to intervene between you two or you may decide to reach out to this person once and for all and say what's up with this person all righty <sighs> Alrighty, I love you, my fishies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.